Well, happy Wednesday, everyone. It's going to be hot and humid for the rest of this week, although today we're getting a little bit of a break with those extra clouds. Not quite as hot, but it's still pretty buggy out there. Isolated thunderstorms possible each and every day with our unsettled weather pattern continuing through the weekend and very likely the early part of next week as well. Humid today, higher levels of humidity tomorrow. And by the way, it's also going to be a little bit warmer as we get closer to that 90 degree point. As we take a look outside just before noon today, live Super Doppler 4 radar, we've got a lot of clouds. We've had a few few stray showers off and on, but here come a little more in the way of scattered showers and isolated downpours as we go into two, three, four o'clock, depending on where you live. By the way, just like last night, a couple of those could linger through the area after nine o'clock. So don't be surprised if 10 o'clock rolls around and we've still got one or two of these alive and well. Here's a look at 637. We'll continue to see these pop up thunderstorms again off and on throughout tonight. Heading into tomorrow, it'll be another dry start to the day. We'll see a little bit more sunshine tomorrow. So again, highs near 90 with that feels like in the mid and upper 90s and guess what? Rinse and repeat. We do it again on Friday. The change in the weather pattern starts later in the weekend. We've got a cool front that's going to attempt to come through. It's going to stall out. That's going to enhance our rain. So from the mountains to the beaches, that's right. If you're heading to the coast this weekend, you're going to be dodging a few scattered showers as well. Pretty much the same thing on Sunday. Believe it or not, that's good news because if you haven't gotten one of those isolated downpours, chances are you want one. Our loss, our grass. We need a little bit of watering, right? Heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, though, here comes another frontal system geared up to come through. This one will likely have enough steam to get through, and if it does, and that's a big if, we could have a little reprieve in our humidity levels for a couple of days next week. Let's take a look. This measures not just the rainfall, but the moisture in the air, that humidity level. You can see it's going to be on the high end all the way through Monday, but look at that. Maybe a little bit of change heading into Tuesday and Wednesday. Fingers crossed a little less humidity is good if you want to get outside and be active, right? In the meantime, it's more about the temperatures. Highs near 90 degrees. That is the normal high, but again, that feels like in the mid and upper 90s tomorrow through the weekend. Slightly better chances of getting a scattered shower or two as we go into Saturday, Sunday, possibly even Monday. That is for Northeast Georgia, Western North Carolina, and the upstate as well.